Hello, I just want to show you around our latest project. So come in. And so this property is a split level apartment that um, we bought from a mortgagee sale and it had been housing a lot of like stacks of students living here illegally. So it was filthy. So now we've transformed it and come in down to the living room and have a look. So the first thing we did was um, widen. This is a riser that brings the services down to the apartment, but we widened it um, in order to accommodate the island bench on the other side. And I'll show you that in a minute. We'll head into the kitchen. So the kitchen is pretty simple, plain white, um, polyurethane. Um, and, but we've tried to get as many drawers in as we can to really get the functionality into the kitchen. So just come through. Dining area. So because the ceilings are concrete, um, so repositioning lights is problematic without dropping a new ceiling in. So what we've done is actually left the light in the original location and just looped it across to the dining table. And what that does is give you flexibility and you can see the uh, appeal of this apartment is the view. It's just got, you know, it's half a block from Central Station and it's got this magnificent view of um, Prince Alfred Park. So something that we really love is the curved bench and the, the composite stone, stone top and also this feature panelling. So it just gives it a really nice um, uh, original look. Um, living area is compact and then if you look down here what we've done is created a, um, a an office area because post-COVID that's pretty much uh, must have in every property. So you can see all we've done is put a screen wall in there because that's all the space that we had available um, to produce you know, to create an area that's just separate. Um, yeah, so we'll head up to the bedrooms now. Okay, so this is the second bedroom. There's not a lot's changed in here other than it's a lot cleaner. So we kept the original wardrobes. We've got new window dressings, new paintwork, new ceiling fan and light, and new carpet. So we put carpet in the bedrooms, but in the living area, we put uh, a floating floor. So it's a little bit more practical, but we think that the carpet is nice for a bedroom. It's more cozy. So this is the master bedroom. So it's almost identical to the one next door. Um, so we've got the original wardrobes, which we just cleaned up and put um, in new inserts in. So the interior is new, but the exterior is the existing, and that looks fine. The st we styled it ourselves, so the styling is simple but effective. Um, once again, new window dressings, but this room has a powder room. Now, had it not been COVID, I would probably have knocked a wall out to put a shower in to make this a, an ensuite. But because I wasn't really sure what the market was doing, I wanted to make sure that we got in and out as quickly as possible. So we've only owned this property for 12 weeks and we're at, in the last week of our sales campaign. We're going to auction this Saturday. So um, very simple choices got a new vanity and yeah, it's just good. So um, with this, we've gone for a terrazzo floor. We've gone for a really simple palette, just white tiles, but we've changed the texture of the tiles, gone for penny rounds um, as a feature wall, and then just paired that with the same stone that we have in the kitchen, which is a marble composite and also the oak cabinetry, which is just a nice um, contrast, a gentle contrast. So we're going to auction this Saturday. I am 
quietly optimistic, but you never really know until, you know, the hammer falls, how it's gonna go. But I feel proud. The, the budget on this project was really low. Okay, so we've spent 60,000 on a complete um, strip out and new kitchens, new bathrooms, new laundry, new everything, um, which is very economical. And so uh, I'll be really interested to see what the outcome is and I'm excited to report the profit.